Hello Leos, welcome to your monthly reading for September 2019. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising or Ascendance, okay? I am Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I am psychic, and today I may be reading your energy. Okay, so if I am reading your energy and it's resonating, and everything you'd like to know about resonance is in the description box below, it means it's um, it's your life. I'm, I'm saying things that are your life. If, if, you, if I say or you know, do something that that's my life, that's my energy, you keep it, it's yours. Okay. That is an energy work piece. That's um, that's an that's <laughs> that's a Natalini and tonic. It's medicinal. It's it's to help you grow, help you evolve, raise your vibration. If I say you're something that doesn't resonate, it's not your life. Has nothing to do with you. Pass it on to the next Leo. That's a Scooby snack. That means you're that little part or the whole reading. If you're here for Scooby snacks, you're here for the entertainment purposes and to see what's going on with someone else's life. Okay, and, or you're just here for the wisdom. Um, because they may be lessons or you know nuggets of wisdom that that are still still good for you to know, still good for you to hear. Okay, so let's see. There's no such thing as time. There's only energy, attention, and priorities. So you know when you say I don't have time for this, or when someone tells you I don't have time for this, they're really saying it's not a priority. Got it. Someone needed to hear that. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to get cracking on in September. It's going to be a full 30-minute reading. It kind of mimics the same um, format that I use for my personal readings if I'm not doing like a love spread. Love spreads are, are different, a different spread, but this is a Celtic cross that we're going to do for your monthly Leos. And, um, and then we're going to do another 30 minutes in the extended. Okay, my loves? Okay feels pretty good that feels pretty good we're also going to do an overlay of the my other rider die rider weight okay so let's see what we've got yeah hold on i have to move all of these around give me a second give me a second thank you for waiting okay i'm sorry my table's a little bit crowded i have my coffee okay Okay, bottom of this deck, the strength card. That's you, Leos. That's you. I love it. I love when you show up for your own, you know. It's really great. Okay. So now I'm going to do this overlay of this other rider weight, ride or die. As, as I like to call it, my rider die, rider weight. Okay, and now we're going to look for any double confirmation messages or cards that want to come through for the Leo for the month of August 2019. Now remember that these readings are timeless, so you can go through any reading on my channel, on my website, and if you're drawn to, you know, the picture or the title or the cards I'm holding up, um, it could resonate for you still, okay? Why? Because there's no such thing as time. There's just energy spirals. It's just all energy. It's all energy floating around, moving around, okay? Energy connecting with energy. So what do we have for Leos for this month of September? Okay. Okay, here we go. Bottom of the deck, three of staves for the Leo. This is interesting. This is very interesting. We do have double confirmation cards. We have, give me a second here. Who am I connecting with is what I want to know. Who are you? <laughs> not in the bad way, not in the bad way at all. I don't make any judgments on the Watch Natalie channel, just as an FYI. I would always rather understand than judge, okay, my love? So the double confirmation that we have is the tower card. It is in, sorry, that was like a loud, okay. Um, we have it in a position of where you are now, and then we have it kind of in the future. So let's just dig right in. The bottom of the deck cards, the three of staves, and the strength card. The strength card is you really holding on. You're persevering, Leo. There is something that you're going through that is taking every single ounce of patience, every single iota of strength within you, in your body, in your mind, in your very soul. You're holding on, though. 
you are absolutely tenacious in the love and the the prosperity and the abundance and just like the hope the sheer hope i mean leo's rule the heart leo's rule the heart the strength of your heart is sort of unprecedented okay you have the courage and the valor to just be the to put your heart forward and just charge right ahead it is the strength of this heart of this love that she is able to tame that wild beast and domesticate that lion into like a little you know kitty cat she has that cosmic lemnus gate the figure eight above her head symbolizing immortality symbolizing just the continuous flow of energy that figure eight okay it's the cosmic lemnus gate of all life essentially and those who are initiated those who know know that you get that level through love and through the heart so leo's at the very base you're born with the strongest hearts of all you're that's just like you i mean just so so majestic and that's why you're so majestic is because your heart is just shining forward it's just a beam of light just okay also with the three of staves at the bottom of this deck you're waiting for something you have an expectation beneath this we have the judgment card you could be waiting to hear back a final judgment on something exams school travel love let you know something that's going to make a really big difference in your life those three ships one two three they sent out you sent out maybe one will crash on the rocks maybe one of them will get taken over by pirates but you have hopes that just one ship needs to come back with a good answer for you to make the biggest difference in your life, Leo. Okay. Okay. You're holding on for that. That's what you're holding on for. You're holding on for this turn of events. You're holding on for this, you know, pivot in a better direction. That's the overlay of all of this. The far past, the crux of the situation you know the context that we're going to read everything else from in this far past kind of like the the foundation of the situation leo is a three of pentacles with the king of wands that's you that's you your fire sign self whether you're a masculine feminine male female does not matter remember blur the signs the ages and the genders my loves this is you in all of your majestic glory the king of wands center of the solar system center of everything the center of life life giving life affirming energy here that king of wands is my like really um charismatic dad card he's like a very charismatic happy um he's a dad that just you know he likes to have attention of the rest of his family you know everyone listen to his stories everyone <laughs> gather around the bonfire the fire pit and listen to dad telling the stories about you know xyz blah 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 uh, and it's like he he likes the attention this is someone that does love the attention you know you love to leo's need attention to to feel that appreciation for who they really are for being who they are for being their authentic selves so this is you right here leo's sun moon and or risings you are working you are collaborating and you you do bring a wonderful energy to this collaboration this is family it's friends it's co-workers it's a project it's a romance it's it's something where you do have to work with other people and what you bring to the table is really high energy it's great energy it's sustaining energy it's fire it's the actual element of fire that just consumes all of the air around it to be alive and it's enjoyable it's enjoyable to keep, people want to keep warm by your fire leo so keep burning bright okay so let's pull and in the extended we're going to get more information on what it was like in the past to work at this and what the characteristics were and who else was involved with this okay but moving forward in the recent past something that you recently did about the situation whatever you are working towards we have the nine of staves with the king of cups. So this is someone else on the team or someone else around you 
they could be a man, but they don't have to be. Like I said, this could be the masculine energy in a female, in a gendered female human that is channeling this energy. The King of Cups, this is someone around you who, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. This is someone around you who is of a high mind. They have a high authority, a similar authority to you, or they just feel like they do and act like they do. I'm sorry if you can hear me swallowing. <laughs> but they're not going to be forthright about how they feel. They're actually very defensive. So showing up in your position of something you recently did about it, you had to deal with this person. In the extended, we'll clarify this further and see what they're so defensive about and what you did or what your reaction kind of was in this little like microcosm of, a, of the spot of your tarot spread, okay? But they're showing up as being prominent in your recent past. So as you move into September, or when we were in September, I mean, this is the 31st. So over the next week, this past week, moving into September, this is the person that you're dealing with that's kind of taking the spotlight of your attention, okay, Leos? And what we have right here, right now, we have the Four of Staves with the Ten of Pentacles. Oh boy. This is a foundation of legacy, is what they just said to me. This is a family inheritance. This is a family business. This is a business you started with your friends a decade or more ago. This is, you know, but this is a very strong, stable foundation. I mean, this is legacy. This is actually a long lasting, long standing legacy. Could even be going generations back. Something that you're involved in, whatever you're collaborating on, Leo, this is definitely something that was, um, that was here before you is what they're telling me. It was here before you and it is, it is the playing field that all these characters, you and the other people collaborating are playing on. It's the actual field and you are all the players. You are prominent in this and, and everyone else is kind of who you're, you're coming into contact with. Now the energy that I'm about to read on top of it I don't, I'm not going to clarify this in the extended. It's very clear. The energy sitting on top of this is your obstacle to this, threatening this, or supporting this foundation. And we have on top of this crossing it, we have the Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. Absolutely, this stability is being threatened in the month of September, Leo. Your stability, your legacy, your progeny, your long-term stability is absolutely being threatened. It could be this King of Cups energy, this water sign energy. They could be extremely emotional, but very stoic. It's the King of Cups is a man who does not express how he feels or what he, it's a strategic move because they're actually emotionally volatile. It could have come out, this person's intentions could have come out out drinking. You know, they could be prone to alcohol, um, a, a little bit of alcohol abuse where they just, they just really can't, it's a different, it's a different kind of alcohol abuse than every other sign, of course, or every other element, earth, air, fire, water. But what is showing as a threat to this foundation, Leo, is this betrayal. Someone is watching and waiting in order to stab you in the back. They are waiting and what they're waiting in the wings to cause you this pain. They're waiting in the wings to take you out of the competition. It could be a sibling. It could be that kind of rivalry here. That's what I'm picking up, Leo, is that you have this, this watching and waiting energy really, really, really trying to get at you. And that's what you're holding on. You're persevering. You're hoping that there's a, a decision that comes down on your side, on the side of justice is what I'm feeling here, okay? I am definitely going to clarify this in the extended to see who's watching, what are they looking at, do they know anything about you, and what this is, like to clarify the Ten of Swords as in, you know, what is their method of attack, what are they going to do to try and take you out, okay? The next energy, and this is September, the next energy you can expect after that attack, after that, it's like they're watching and waiting to launch. So after they hit or after they try to take this hit, Leo, you have the Knight of Wands and the world energy. 
this is actually fate and destiny coming in to help you. Yeah, you have some karmic reward in the like in the piggy bank. And it could be that you've been holding on to your strength and that that is what actually beneath that you actually have the page of wands. This could be what activates your good karma because you do have good karma coming to you. And like I opened up this, this wonderful monthly reading for you is how your heart is and, and like the nature of being a Leo and, and the nature of why Leo rules the heart. All of that, that's like karma in the bank. Okay, Leo, and that's what's coming to your rescue in the next energy. So whatever this attack is, whatever form, this espionage, this, what's it called? A coup or, you know, this, this, you know, transgression against your family security, against your foundational security. You're definitely under attack here, Leo, in the month of September. You have fate coming in to save you, though. It's really rushing in, too. It's going to complete a cycle of of energy, a circle of energy, okay, where you are actually going to be protected in this egg, that you and your family should be protected because the Knight of Wands is also your energy. It's also the fiery energy. It could also be Saturn coming in to help you. So a Capricorn, um, maybe Aquarius sort of type of person who's actually showing up extremely wise, wizened, stable, secure, solid, who, who, who does come in at the last second, come in at the last minute, sees what you're going through and rushes to your aid, okay? And you could have not known this person or not known that they were going to help you. I do feel like you, it's, it's, a, it's sort of a surprise is how I'm feeling it, okay? We are going to clarify that for sure in the extended. I want to see who it is, what it is, what form it takes, this aid that comes to you and comes to help you. And if there's any kind of um, warnings or just anything to do with that, okay? The role that you are currently playing, where you are now in September, Leo, you are showing up in the Empress energy with the tower. So this is losing your job. This is losing that security. This is, this is feeling like a way of life for me. This is, it could be a female, it could be a feminine, an archetype who you just kind of, who breaks up with you or you break up with someone. It could be something like that, Leo. But what it feels more like to me is that this is a lifestyle that is now coming cr crashing down um, or you feel like it is. You feel the threat because that's what they're after. This competition, this King of Cups competition, that's what they're after. They're after this stability. They're after this legacy of pentacles. They're after that, um, that Four of Wands happiness. That Four of Wands is stability it's a house someone you could lose your house you you know or you know try to lose your house or someone's trying to take your house from you or you know it's something like that where you just feel like a whole like it's been dropped underneath you like just you know that can be when this happens when this finally hits when they're they launch their attack then you lose it because this is how you go into September. This is the role that you're currently playing. You're currently playing the, the Empress under attack from the tower, trying to escape that lightning bolt from hitting her. And that's when this comes in to actually help you. It's after this, okay? This might be what the alert is, because I don't see you reaching out for help. That's the thing, Leo. I don't see you reaching out for help before this hits. Before this person watching and waiting in the wings goes and, and makes their hit, goes to, to execute their evil little plan. Throughout all of this, I don't see you getting help from anyone. Or, I mean, asking for help. What you're doing is you're holding on to your own strength. You're holding on to your own perseverance and you're waiting. You have an expectation for this decision, for this judgment. So... That's why this is able to hit you is because you don't have this help because there's help around you. But the help comes after the damage has already been done because you're not opening, you're not communicating, you're not... Um, this, we will elaborate on this, the basis of this in the extended to see if there is anyone around you that you can try to, like an alliance, that you can try to have to ward this off 
although it could just be a betrayal. So we're going to clarify that in the extended to take a deeper look and see. But this does look like someone's watching and waiting to betray you. So that could be why you're not talking to anyone, why nothing's going on. So it might even be worth it to just wait for the tower to hit so that the real aid, whoever is really on your side, comes out of the woodwork to rush and to help you, okay? I know. Okay. How other people see you. Other people see you in the month of September, Leo, as the High Priestess and Queen of Cups. This is really incredible energy. It's really incredible to me because we shuffle two different decks. And we have two intuitive psychic cards, feminine energies in the same place at the same time. So it's extremely, extremely correct and, impo and potent and important. Okay. Um, other people see you going solely on your gut, on your intuition, on your even psychic ability. I'm going to say that you are psychic. And you know, here's the funny thing is that when I, when I say something that is about to come to pass and this usually happens when I'm talent, when I'm talking to someone who doesn't believe as if this is a belief system, it's not. And I'll, I'll give them something that's going to come to pass and they don't believe, but then they change the outcome by changing their position or changing their actions to avoid the calamity from hitting. And then they tell me, well, you're not right because it didn't hit. And, I, and I'm there going, well, you listened to my advice. You did exactly what I said you should do and you avoided it. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like that. People can see you as having this psychic ability or psychic knowing. And I really do feel like, number one, you do have an intuition, an extremely strong intuition. That's you right here using your Queen of Cups energy. This right here could be me or someone else. A psychic, a, an esoteric um, mentor. This is also a dream woman. So for some of you, when this is romantic, this is your ideal feminine. Someone sees you as an ideal feminine, whether you're male, female, there's, you're an ideal person sort of energy, okay? But because I'm telling you all of this right now, Leo, about this betrayal and someone's watching and waiting in the wings, and especially if you buy the extended and we get even more detail about who this is, and it will appear to the outside, to people that don't know you're on YouTube, to people that don't know you got the extended, to people that don't know that you watch Watch Natalie, it will look to the outside as if you're psychic. Whoever is going to stab you in the back, they're really good. You're dealing with a high level person. This King of Cups is showing up not only emotionally cool, calm and collected as far as not letting on that they have ill will feelings against you, Leo. They're also showing up as mentally strategic with this page of want, a page of swords, excuse me, and the 10 of swords. The swords are words, the swords are thoughts, the swords are strategy, ideas, mental constructs. So they're showing up as a double threat. Little do they know that you have me and that, you know, you have your own, your own powerful intuition. So if you're thinking about someone right now, Leo, as we're going through this, as we're talking about this, it's probably that person. It's going to be someone unlikely, which is why you're going to come across as how did they fucking know? It could be someone real close, brother, sister, mom, dad, husband, wife, daughter, son, close which is why it feels like 10 swords. I feel like it's one person with the, the power to hurt you with 10. Can you imagine? Sorry. Um, it only takes one sword to kill someone and they got 10. You have 10 in your back, okay? Um, your hope or your fear in the month of September, Leo. The Knight of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. Um, Oh, we're also going to clarify this in the extended of how else you're coming across so that we can help you control your image so that they don't know that you know that they're going to come for you so that you can cut it off at the pass. If, if we can, I'm definitely going to clarify this, but we're going to try to avoid this so that it doesn't take this in order for this help to come through. If we can, otherwise it's someone's destiny where that has to hit so that 
a karmic level of completion comes to a close where someone does owe you a favor and they do have to come in to help you. See, so some of you are meant to avoid it with the reading and some of you are meant to accept this with the reading so that you are reunited or that you um, allow someone else to pay this karma back to you in the form of aid. Okay? Your hope or your fear. You're keeping yourself busy. You don't know whether, you don't know whether, dude, you don't know who to trust. You don't know who to offer the cup to and it's sort of a stress. It's sort of like a fear like, well, I don't know. Do I talk? Do I open up to this person? It's sentimental. The Romeo card is sentimental, honest, open feelings. Do I talk to this person? Do I, can I trust them? It's a fear that you can't trust anyone. Okay. The outcome. In the outcome position, you have the Knight of Wands with the star. Oh, you have a double Knight of Wands. You have double confirmation. So things are rushing towards you or you are rushing towards these things. The world is on its way to you in the form of aid. And the end result, you also have healing coming towards you, Leo. You have this healing energy. It could be in the form of a person or situation, but this is absolutely that Aquarian type energy where it's individual, it's unique, it's different. And it's rushing into your life, you know, kind of after we're probably going to get this too. more clarification on this leading into the star with the Knight of Wands. We're going to clarify this. I'm not going to spend too long on it in the YouTube version so I can get to the outcome. And I do want to get an Oracle card for you, at least one. So that healing that you can expect by the end of September, Leo, leads you to October and beyond the future environment, which is the double confirmation of the tower, but with the chariot. I'm feeling like you overcome. I'm feeling that you are able to be the charioteer and direct your chariot forward through because it's going to strike. It's going to want to strike again. This is a huge legacy. There could be a lot of money on the line, Leo. There could be a lot of important legacies on the line. There could be contracts, wills, investments, properties, estates. I mean, it's a lot. So this isn't just one blow from one person even. We'll take a look to see what else is here, but it, it's looking like this one King of Cups personality is the main instigator of this. Um, but it's a big, it's big, it's big. And they're going to, they could try to come in different ways, different, you know, but I do see you being victorious. I, I mean, you know, no one can challenge the lion's strength and win against it. It's the royal, the royal strength of that royal heart of yours, Leo, okay? And you take that and you ride that to victory. So I want to get the Moonology card for you to see. Just really quick before we move it into the extended, what we have for the Leos watching on YouTube. Okay, my loves, do we have advice for the Leos that need to see this message? What advice... Real quick, Ooh, hold your vision and a new romantic cycle begins. So for some of you, this is split up. Some of you, this is work and family and you know, and you have to hold on to that vision. And for some of you, this is the end of a treacherous relationship because what's meant is a new different romantic cycle to start for you to kind of cut your losses, hold your vision and a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. Expect powerful change for the better. For the better for the Leo that I'm connecting with, sun, moon, or rising. Okay, while we have a minute or so, I want to pull Divine Feather as well. Because we need all the help we can in this very volatile situation, okay? All the help that we can get for the Leos for the month of September 2019. Okay, what else do we have that wants to come through for the Leos? What else do we have that wants to come through for the Leo that I'm... Ooh, that was quick. Hold on. The Crow. This is about synchronicities. If you've been watching my dailies, there was that one daily that I that the, the crow, a crow came on my thing and it was like a whole thing, okay? So I'm going to say go back and watch that daily. And if you can comment in the comments below, link to that daily because that's there's something in that message of that daily message that can apply to this monthly reading. The Crow, universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Use this energy to create your own reality. Okay. So if you've been watching, link down below in the comments to the daily that I show the crow picture because there could be a link between that message, something in that message and this 
September reading for you, okay? Universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Something's going to come to light, that Page of Swords. Use this energy to create your own reality, okay? So you have it within you, Leo. You're going to be able to do this. And very last on the bottom of the deck, the ostrich. The choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and truth you feel in your heart. The heart is what jumped out at me. The heart, that word heart. Okay, Leos, um, if I see you on the other side, I will see you extremely soon. For everyone else, I wish you the very best of luck and I'm sending you all of the good photons. If you'd like to book a personal reading and get a personalized forecast on the situation or the month ahead, feel free to do so at theartigan.com slash shop slash shop. If anything, I will definitely see you tomorrow for the daily. Take care, Leos. Bye. What are both of these nights bringing towards you? Both in the future positions too. They're bringing cosmic energies with them. This is divine energy coming in, swooping in to help you when you need it the most. The background of this is how it began, of how it began, please. Because now they're looking to boot you out. It's like this, they're showing me Steve Jobs being kicked out of his own company. That's they're showing me. This is one of the characteristics you need to look for, Leo, in terms of who's the one betraying you. They're the ones who's coming across the most innocent. So be very careful about texting and messaging. And we are going to clarify the Page of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Apps of freaking Louie. Can we please clarify the Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords for Leo for the month of September, Sun, Moon, and Rising? You're dealing with a very high level person, Leo. You're dealing with someone who has done this before very successfully. You're there going to lull you in the false sense of security so that you don't see it coming and then they're going to attack. You and your altruistic inspiration, you just wanted to help. You walked into the trap they set up for you and now they're about to close it. They're about to, it's like you're in the trap by saying yes to that, that decision you made. You're in the trap and now phew, lock you in and bring you down this is going to be like right when they strike you help comes in like moment to moment someone is going to come in to save your life leo someone's going to come in out of nowhere to save the situation look at this 